I personally say let them have explosive candy, especially the rock candy type. Which leads us to this game, Explosive Candy World. Well, the only explosive candies in this game are candy canes, because that's your primary weapon. And yes, it's very explosive. But uh, it's a very simple physics precision platformer, uh, where you bounce your explosive candy to hit objects, and uh, you can fire underneath yourself to knock yourself forwards. And it's kind of funny, because you're super thin guy. He's kind of like a version of Luigi and uh, I don't know, the candy version, the candy eyes version of Luigi and uh, yeah, it's got sort of like that classic NES Kirby look to this game. Uh, each level looks like a Candyland uh, TV advertisement. The music feels lighthearted it's, it's, and sweet. It kind of repeats a line. It's big quite gratingly um, hard to continue listening to it. Um, I really recommend turning it off after a few minutes. Um, I attempted to play this game multiple times. I got through the first 13 levels. Apparently there's 80 levels to this. I don't know. They must get a lot harder after um, the 10, 10 level mark. I couldn't imagine playing through all the way through this game. Um, because they do get increasingly challenging. Um, so the, it's got really good level design. The controls are easy to learn within seconds. Um, you just aim your explosive candy stick uh, with either the mouse or the analog stick and then you just shoot your character all around the room or you aim it at an object like the strawberries or the bricks. There's other objects too and that just helps you progress through the level and on to the next. Um, it goes for 465 regularly. It's on sale for 232 right now um, through the Steam Summer Sale. It just feels like a solid $2 purchase, but $5 is just too much for this. It just, it's got a good gimmick for it. It just doesn't feel like a game for people, uh, for gamers, unless um, really love these platformer puzzle games. Um, there are over 80 levels as I said, it started off fun and then the difficulty I feel like scaled up way too high to be fun anymore for most people, uh, so I sort of lost interest in it personally. It's, it's, it's a fun distraction, it just seems to overstay its welcome within minutes. Um, it's not a bad game to tinker with, it just seems like um, when I looked a lot of people seem to enjoy this far more than I did. Um, I would give it a 6 out of 10. Like I really wanted to go into this um, enjoying it, but I felt like it wasn't as enjoyable as the concept initially seemed to be. Um, it just has that initial charm to it, but unless you're a fan of the genre, I feel like it won't retain your interest for very long, which is unfortunate because it seems like a really cool idea, just um, instead of it being fun stages, it's uh, very challenging um, if you uh, aren't interested in puzzle platformers like this. So take your explosive candy and enjoy it.